This is the Pilotfish EI console. It's the developer's workstation you'll use to build, test, maintain, and deploy all of your integration interfaces. And also along the way, we'll be diving a little bit deeper into some of the EDI functionalities available here with the EI console. So let's get started. So opening up this route here, this is our aggregation for analytics and reporting route. And here we see we've got several different data feeds, some HL7, some EDI, some Fire JSON, but we'll be primarily dealing with our EDI feed. And so how this is assembled is we have our source systems on the left, so you can think of each row as a place we're getting data from. We have our target systems on the right, this is our other place we're sending data to. And then no matter which system it comes from or the data format, it moves through the same assembly line process as it's ingested, transformed, routed, and finally sent to its final destination. So let's look a little bit closer at our, at our EDI feed here. So we're starting out with our, an FTP listener to pick up that EDI from our provider. So here we've defined our host, port, credentials, how often we want to go look for files, and then that listener is ready to go. So next we'll move into our source transform stage, where we're taking that raw EDI and transforming it into XML. So with the Pilotfish software, we use XML as the underlying data format for all of our different transformations. And it makes it very easy and extensible to be able to, to work with these across routes, across transforms, so that anywhere in the product, as long as you're familiar with XML, you can, you can operate on the data. And so we're transforming this EDI in a two-part process. We're first we're using our transformation module to take that raw EDI and turn it into uh, that XML baseline format. And so since we're dealing with X12 EDI here, we can add some additional context into that structure we're producing. So we can do things like uh, add some human readable friendly names, code definitions if desired, also some SNP validation here right out of the box. And so the second half of that transformation process is a logical mapping. So this is a, an XML to XML mapping using our data map. So really quickly, this is our, our data mapper here. This is our three pane graphical drag and drop mapping tool. So how this is assembled is we have our source format on the left. So this is our, since we're dealing with EDI, we've got our EDI 837 XML here. You can see all of our loops there. And then on our target side, uh, we've got this little Panation uh, canonical XML structure that we're hoping to produce. And so you basically drag and drop into this center pane to build your mapping and with the tools palette at the top for more complex operations as needed. And so it's really just as simple as uh, looking here, so we've got our patient last name here and we've just navigated through the tree to get our, our 2000B, 2000BA, get our NM103, drag it into the pane and then it's ready to go. So next we move into the routing stage and so the routing stage uh, primarily acts as, as the kind of the, the balance between the source and target systems. So for any of our incoming source messages, we can set up arbitrarily complex routing rules to say for this given message, maybe based on something in the data itself or some transactional information around that data, send it to a certain subset of target systems. But here we're just sending to all targets. Uh, and then moving into our target side, so here we're taking that EDI XML and we're using it to produce some uh, database insert statements to update this uh, quality measures data store. And then we're also taking that EDI XML and producing some JSON. So let's go ahead and look at it in testing mode. So we'll look at some, some real data flowing through. So here we'll load up this EDI test that I have saved. And as I hit go, we'll see the data move through the system, moving left to right through the stages. So here we can look at the, at the output of each of the different stages in testing mode. So we'll see here, here's that sample 837 claims file that we're starting out with. And then we can look at the results of our EDI transformer. So this is where we're producing that baseline XML structure. And here we see those friendly names that I mentioned earlier. So next we can look at our XSLT stage. And so here's that little patient canonical XML that we, we produced in our, data, in our data mapper. So next moving into the routing stage. So we didn't do any, any uh, transformation here, so there's nothing really to see. But then looking into our target side, so here we can look at the results of our, our XML to JSON and we can see our uh, JSON transformer. And so here's that final, that final XML payload actually in JSON. So we've gone from EDI to XML and then to JSON all in one step. Uh, and then finally here, it looks like our RESTful web service wasn't quite ready to receive our message yet. So that's something that I could then go and, and fix and then come back and retest. And so it's really just that simple with the EI console. As you can see, in just a few easy steps, we were able to ingest some data, transform it to XML, and then transform it into both uh, database statements and then also into some JSON, a different file format, and then send them both on to their, their final destination systems. Thanks for watching this video.